Hi everyone, my name is Silver Willow Wing and welcome! Today we're gonna talk about How to Train a Dragon the Hidden World. This time we're gonna talk about Drago's Bewilderbeast because it was recently confirmed in the new trailer that Drago's Bewilderbeast is gonna come back. He's sitting right there in the hidden world, he's roaring with toothless and seems very small. He seems like he has shrunken a little bit. But it could again just be the ankle. I mean, if you take a look at the dragons closer to him, they seem kind of the same size as the other dragons, so... But I think he could be standing further back. He does seem slightly more blurry than the other dragons. Slightly, just a little bit, perhaps. There's dragons behind him as well, and they look smaller. Again, this is just a trailer, so this could be something they will, you know, adapt later on. They'll kind of correct it. It could just put him in there to show him in the trailer. I looked at the other scene where Toothless is standing like and roaring at everyone and I can't spot him there. He's not there anywhere from what I can see at least. If you can find him, please let me know. Go ahead, find him a world of beast in this mess of dragons. But I couldn't locate him. So it could be to just add him in here for the trailer so we could see him standing here with everyone else. This doesn't have to be the final scene. The trailer is you know, subject to change always. But he's there nonetheless, which means he survived. I mean, he obviously survived. He was fine, he just fled and he just swam away. When Toothless defeated him, he he probably, you no, know, maybe he came from the hidden world. Maybe he was here before, maybe he knew it. Maybe all dragons somehow know about this world inside of them, I don't know. Something similar to the Dragon Island, when like when they get close enough, like Toothless, he was just, he became like, just followed everyone. Like, Hiccup was like, Toothless, come on, let's, let's go, but he was like, no, just continue. So maybe the hidden world is similar to that, when dragons get close enough to it, they'll kind of know where it is, and then the Bewilderbeast found it somehow. I feel like it's some sort of connection to all dragons that this world has, because there's so many dragons in there. So it could be something like that, that he, you know, fled here. And when he finally was free from Drago, because he was defeated, Drago was defeated, so I don't think Drago's gonna have any control over this Bewilderbeast anymore. I don't think Drago is gonna be in the Hidden World. That'd be a little strange, wouldn't it? Like, we have all these dragons, yay, and who's that? That's the freaking Psycho, what the hell is he doing here? That's creepy. Uh, I mean, he could be, and it could be like, reverse or opposite Volca, like he's living with dragons and He's learned something, I don't know, but I don't think so. If he's gonna come back, he might come back. He's gonna be com coming back in flashbacks, if anything, because he's on the cast list. So we're definitely gonna see him in this film, if he's actually gonna be there, or if he's gonna be in flashbacks, we don't know yet. There's a high chance he's gonna make an appearance, but I don't think he's gonna be in the hidden world. He could be. Um, it's kind of strange, because he's not really a dragon friend. Maybe he changed? Like, Storic changed? Maybe he finally accepted his defeat? He just doesn't seem like the kind of guy who would. He seemed very angry and aggressive up until the end when he got defeated. So I don't think he's gonna be here. I could be wrong. Again, I have no idea. It's just my feeling. My gut feeling is telling me, no, probably not. But the Bewilderbeast is definitely gonna be there. And I don't think that he's gonna be any threat to Toothless. Because Toothless defeated him. Toothless is the Alpha. Toothless is the new king. So this guy know that, well, Toothless defeated him, so he is, you know, submissive to him. So I don't think that the Drago's Bewilderbeast is gonna be the bad guy. He's not gonna be a threat to anyone, because he was defeated. And it looks like here he's joining forces with Toothless, he's just listening to him, because he's the new king. Like, I bend down to you, you defeated me. And Toothless is, of course, okay with that. It's like, we're good, we're cool, I got you. I got your, I got your tusk, so we're kinda good, right? We're, we're, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. But you asked for it, so. Kind of like that sort of relationship. I think that he's gonna be fine. He's gonna be just like any other dragon and he's gonna be possibly a useful ally. It'll be really cool to see him in action. Because this whole scene where Toothless kind of calls out to everyone seems like they are preparing for battle somehow. I don't know. It could be that they are. Because it seems like they are waiting to attack Grimmel's Amada. But it doesn't make much sense because Toothless was captured. And then he comes like, we will find the hidden world. We must find the hidden world. But to find the hidden world before or after they get captured, that's kind of... The timeline is a little bit blurry right now. 
but I definitely think this is some kind of call to war. It looks like it. It looks like an empowerment war, and they're gonna go out and they're gonna wreck Rimmel. Similar to the second movie, except this battle is gonna be much grander. Because Grimmel has a huge armada, and we have a huge pack of dragons, all sorts of dragons, and the wildebeest, and maybe even more large dragons. We don't know what's down here. There's a lot of dragons here, so it could be anything, you know? So these dragons are gonna go out and wreck Grimmel. I think that's how it's gonna play out. Uh, it seems that way, at least. But in any case, the Bewilderbeast is there, and he's living in the end world, just, you know, peaceful, chilling out. But it kind of makes sense that he wouldn't die, so I'm, I'm personally glad that they included him, because he just fled, and like, where would he be? Would he just be gone when all this conflict is going, going, going down in the third film? It wouldn't make much sense, right? I think it makes perfect sense for him to come back, and to be here and just, you know, join forces. It's always nice to see something we know, from the past, like, oh, I know that one. That's cool. They brought it back. That's really exciting. So I'm really pleased to see him. It's gonna be exciting to see what kind of role he's gonna have, um, because the Bubble Beast is a very impressive dragon. So I'm I'm up for it. I'm definitely up for it. Let me know what you think about it. Are you excited about seeing Drago's Bubble Beast again? Do you think Drago is gonna come back? And if so, how do you think he's gonna make an appearance? Anything you'd like to say? Please leave it in the comment section. I will look very much forward to reading it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to check out my other Heart to Train Dragon Hidden World videos. Also consider subscribing because I'll be continuing making them. And thank you so much for watching this one and hopefully I'll see you next time. So long, Dragon Riders!